guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this phone mount made by Topgo. Now this is a $24 uh, cup holder phone mount that you can find on Amazon. This will be in the description if you want to go pick this thing up. And by the looks of things, from what I can tell from the Amazon listing, these seem to be pretty good phone mounts. Uh, obviously these go in your cup holder as you can see there. So it's not gonna be like going on your air vent or anything like that. So be good for something uh, like a car that actually has um, cup holders in this case. For example, this thing here, I'm not gonna be able to use this thing on my Jeep because my Jeep didn't come with cup holders back in the day. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't heard of many cars that didn't come with cup holders, but Either way, um, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this thing in my Jeep, nor am I going to be able to use it in my Jeep. I'm going to have to demonstrate it in uh, maybe like a Mustang or a truck or something like that. So um, overall, once again, it seems to be, from what I could tell from the Amazon listing so far, a uh, pretty good phone mount. So here I have two. They're the exact same model. Um, everything is the same about them. I just have two in this case. One for me and maybe one to give to my friend or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go and unbox this one. This box is kind of uh, not in the best condition to say the least. Um, so I'm going to set this one here and I'm just going to get into this one. This one has a better box. So I'm going to unbox this one. Um, anyways, so you can see here on the front of the box, it says Top Go cup holder phone mount. On the side here, once again, Top Go, even top goal better. All right. On the side here, same thing on the top, nothing, or on the bottom, sorry. There's nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. And then on the back here, we have a label. If you wanna take a look at that, there you go. And you can see here I have it in the black color. Uh, guarantee right there, okay, that's pretty nice. And then um, their website for more information. And um, basically how to like, I guess, use this thing or the features of it right there. So there it is. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So. Yes, I did get a knife instead of finally, you know, unboxing things with like a screwdriver or something. I finally got a knife. So uh, let's go and open this thing up. Knife is pretty good. I do have to say that. Let's pop it open here. Get my fingernail in there. I'm just going to use the knife. There we are. All right. And there it is. Looks like it's in some wrapping. All right, and yep, there's the entire thing. We also in here have a user manual, and uh, that's it. So let's set this off to the side. And what are these? I was kind of confused about this in the Amazon listing. Okay, so they're rubber. I'm not 100% sure what these are. Maybe, uh, actually, they might be like grips to grip to the uh, inside of your, your cup holder. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but there's that, so. Set those off to the side. Once again, I'll find out what all this stuff is for in a little bit. And then here is the actual phone mount itself. So the, uh, put your phone in here and I believe. Okay, once again, I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this thing, but there's that. See right there. And then here is the actual, um, I guess mechanism itself. Yeah, okay. So I think that's what these are for. They gotta be, because they're like the exact same size. Okay, well, uh, here it is. So this part goes in your cup holder there, and let's twist it, and okay, yeah. So this is like, go over this, there we go. That's what it's for. So then it could grip like a bigger size cup holder. Cool, so uh, yeah, here we go. You can see right there. So nice, so what I'm gonna go and do now is uh, set this thing all up and go ahead and get one of our cars and go in and try this thing out. All right, so hold on for just a second before I go into the actual review of this thing now. In the next clip, I'm going to show you guys uh, this phone here in the mount. This is an iPhone 6S, normal iPhone 6S, not a 6S Plus. So it's the smaller uh, 4.7 inch size now. I was originally filming with that phone. 
uh, the iPhone XS Max, which is uh, one of the biggest phones that Apple sells um, in this thing, okay? So then I had proof that bigger phones do work with this mount. And for some reason, the footage that I recorded um, didn't show up in iMovie from this phone, so I can't show you guys that now. Um, but I do want to assure, uh, show you, assure you guys, I'm going to talk there for a second, that uh, this phone does work with both the smaller phone, which I'll be showing in the next clip here, along with my iPhone XS Max 5.5 inch. Um, so it's the bigger phone size, kind of like the 7 Plus and so on. So this thing will work with both the bigger uh, iPhones and the smaller iPhones, which I'll show in a second. So there's that. Sorry about that, but it's just how it goes sometimes. All right, so now we are on the 6S right here. And you can see here the arms, uh, they were outstretched from my uh, Tennis Max, which is a little bit bigger than this thing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is press the button on the back here. You can see right there and that one there on the top is for these arms right here so i'm going to go and press that in and i'm going to grip onto the phone i guess and i believe okay you might need to give it a little bit of help yeah you kind of do okay so they don't seem to go sometimes this button's a little weird sometimes it goes by itself and sometimes it doesn't anyways you can just press on them here and you can see now it's gripped in along with the bottom one here it's already settled in there. So there, you can see it does fit the iPhone 6S. You can take it out here if I really wanted to and go and put it back. So yes, it does fit. fit uh, basically, the smallest phone that Apple sells, this is like the size of obviously a 6S, uh, 6, a 7, an 8. And then the uh, Plus models are the size of like my Tennis Max that I just showed here. So it'll fit pretty much every iPhone, uh, no matter if you have the smallest one or the biggest one. So that's pretty cool. So definitely works very well, I would say. So pretty impressed so far. So um, I guess that's really all to say about it. I mean, it's just a phone mount. Um, I mean, there's nothing much to it other than like build quality and how it works, which in this case, found out how it works and it works pretty good. And for build quality, I'll just go over that in my final opinions, which I'm going to go in and do now. All right, so overall, what do I think of this phone mount? I think this thing is actually pretty good for the price. Now, keep in mind, this thing is $24, which is, I would say, kind of on the cheaper side of uh, phone holders anyways. And those are like suction cup ones that attach to your windshield or ones that go in your air vents or something. But this one, something I haven't seen before, which is, once again, it kind of like mounting to your cup holders. Really cool. Uh, as I showed you in the previous clip, it seems to work pretty well too. At least in my case, it was working just fine. Um, seemed in there sturdy enough. And I mean, I, I'm overall, I'm actually pretty impressed by the concept of that. I haven't seen that anywhere else with uh, other um, like phone mounts that I've reviewed. All of them are either ones that go in the vents or one that, you know, ones that stick to your windshield. I've never seen one like this. so. Pretty cool, and it seems to be working pretty well. So, as I mentioned previously, there's only pretty much two things that matters uh, in a phone mount, and that's number one, build quality, and then how it functions and if it fits your phones. I already went over that, so the next thing I'm gonna go over is build quality. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, build quality on this thing seems pretty good, I would say. Now, as far as I could tell, everything, yeah, everything, feels like it's made out of plastic okay it doesn't necessarily feel like cheap plastic uh but it is plastic um in the end now this thing here now this is the main part this is what would break in the end and it feels honestly very sturdy you can see i'm bending it back and forth it's nice and stiff it's not gonna you know like if you go over a bump it's not gonna bend down or something and then you would have to bend it back like this thing is very sturdy honestly it feels like the inside of this is maybe made of metal I know it can't be because metal can't really bend like this, um, but it feels very sturdy. And overall, I would say the whole thing's uh, really well built. This is made of rubber here, so it's gonna grip onto your phone. It's made of rubber on the sides too. So build quality is definitely good. And so is functionality. This thing seems to work really well. So if you're looking for a uh, pretty good phone mount, um, I would even recommend going, once again, the cup holder way. It seems to work really well. And uh, it'd be my personal preference over uh, like one of those vent mount mounted ones, uh, you know, cause you could obviously move a vent and if you go over a bump 
with that extra weight on it, it can move the uh, vent and then you have to move it back and it's just a mess. But this thing here, that goes right in your cup holder and it stays there. So pretty cool in my opinion. So if you're looking for a uh, good phone mount and even if you're looking for a good uh, cup holder phone mount, I do definitely recommend this thing. Seems to be, seems to be working uh, very well. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.